Okay, start with a blank presentation. That's going to open up and give you this automatic setup. You don't want this. So click on each of these boxes and delete them. You want to start from scratch. Next up, insert your video. Okay, so you've already recorded your video, so you're going to go and get your video from your computer. Here's mine. I'm going to insert it. You can put it anywhere you want. Most people read from left to right, so it's best to put it on the left, and then you can make it as big as you want. Realize that the bigger you make things, the more, uh, the bigger the file is going to be, and you want to have a file that you can handle. Please notice that this video has its controls down here and a timer, but these things you don't really need to deal with because all you're going to do is the simplest right now. So after you place your video, what you want to do is to tell the computer how to handle it. So we're going to go choose the video up here to playback and then choose that it should play back automatically. That's really, really important. Because what that means is that when you go down here and you click on slideshow, it starts automatically. All right? Okay, so we get out of the slideshow. The next thing we want to do is to put our visuals up here. We'll put them on the right hand side of the screen. And so what we want to do again is to insert anything you want. But I'm going to just go with simple pictures that I've already saved. So I'm going to choose just part one. I'm going to insert it. I'm going to move it around to where I want it to be. And then I'm going to tell it how to come in with this video. I go up to animations. I go over here. I mean, I choose how it appears. That's how I want it to appear. Then I need to go over here and choose how it's going to exit. It's going to just disappear. All right. Notice that we've got numbers going on here. Zero, because this starts at zero, and then first it appears, and then then it, then it disappears. Okay. Notice that I always have up here on click. When it comes to these elements, everything must be on click because that will allow you to choose as this video is playing when this comes in and when this comes out. So let's try it. If I go ahead here, it starts. And I click again, it comes in. And I click again, and it disappears. You do that with every visual you put in. So let me show you. I'll insert another visual. I'll take a picture and insert it. And I will sort it out. Notice I'm putting it right on top of the other one. That's fine because the other one will have disappeared. Then I go up to animations and I choose how it's going to appear. And then I choose how it's going to disappear. And I make sure that everything is on click. I never change this. Okay? And I'll do one more. I'm going to go up here, insert the picture. Move it to where I want it to go, and then choose the animation. I'm going to make it just appear. I'm also going to add so that I can make it disappear. Everything is going to be on click. Now if I can move, I can move these around a little bit so you can see the order. All right. Now this is the simplest, simplest, simplest way to do it. Whoops. There's lots of other ways you can do it. But I'm showing you just the very simplest. So I split these up a little bit so you can see. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is when it enters. This is when it exits. This is when it enters. This is when it exits and so on. Okay? So let's see how that works. Again, I start the slideshow. He starts speaking automatically. I click and I get the first one to come up. I click again and it disappears. I click and the second one comes up. I click again and it disappears. I click the third one and it comes up. I click again and it disappears. Okay? 
That's the simple way to do it. Realize that if you've just got one, you just want to have one visual to the right of the speaker, you just put these right on top of each other, all right? It doesn't matter whether you can see them in the right order or not. The computer knows what the order is. You can get more elaborate from here, but this is the basic way to do this. Good luck.